right, guys. All right, here we go. If you're not on your feet, let's get there. When the world feels like it's shaking, when my heart feels like it's breaking, walking over waves can be hard to do. Take my hand, your hero, Jesus. You're the one who never leaves us. Whatever comes my way, I'm holding on to you. Here we go. We're going to take this opportunity to worship Jesus. Lift your hands. Let's sing this together. I heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I
What's going on, Awaken Kids? Uh, it's me, Pastor Shauna. Oh, sorry. My bad. It's me, Mr. Christian. Now, we are so excited to have you back. Welcome back. Now, today, we are going to jump into a brand new series called Back to the Basics. Dun, 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 dun. Just imagine there's some horns playing there or something like that. I don't know if it really is. But in this series, we are talking about the basics of Christianity. Now, with that, today, we are talking specifically about worship, one of the fundamental elements in our Christian walk, we are talking about worship. But before we dive into worship, I think it's only fitting that we jump into first our memory verse, and not just any old memory verse. This is a brand new thing. So please give it up for Miss Miguel and get to your feet. We're going to do this memory verse. Hey friends, welcome to another series. Today we're going to start talking about the basics. Back to the basics. All right. Now, today's Bible verse will be Psalms 32.8. All right, you ready? Repeat it after me. Psalms 32.8. Again, Psalms 32.8. Look, I'm trying to help you out. Afterwards, they're going to ask you what the Bible verse was. They might give you a prize. I'm not saying anything, but remember that. Ready? One more time. Psalms 32.8. All right, you got it? Cool. That's going to be our Bible verse. Now, Mr. Beatbox has transformed himself into a DJ. Isn't that awesome? So sweet. Now, when we call him out, not only are we going to say Mr. Beatbox, Mr. Beatbox, but we're going to say, drop me a beat. You ready? Here we go. Help me out. Oh, Mr. Beatbox. Oh, Mr. Beatbox. Drop me a beat. Yeah. All right. You know it. Psalms 32, 8 goes like this. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Yeah! So good! Ah, oh, Mr. DJ, that's Mr. Beatbox. All right, fam, get ready. We're going to learn this. Let's learn it step by step. You know how it goes. We're going to learn the hands first, then the feet. We're going to put it together and call Mr. Beatbox to DJ up with that cool beat. You ready? All right, here we go. First things first. You're going to point two thumbs and point to yourself. Got it? I got it. Perfect. So the next step is you're going to point out. Got it? With your left hand. So two thumbs together, and you're going to point with your left hand. Got it? Too easy. I will instruct you. So this is I, and this is you. Got it? So I will instruct you. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do the worm with your hands, okay? You're going to start right here. You're going to break it at the fingers, break it again at the wrist, elbow comes up, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers, pointed. That's a, that's a slow version. The fast version goes like this. Got it? We're going to do it a little slow, right? So he goes, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Remember, you clap on, go. Everybody clap on, go. Ready? One, two, three, go. Hey, good. All right, check this out. From top, just the hands. Five, six, seven, goes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Got it? Good. Now, my eye. <laughs> That's it. Easy money. All right. One more time. Just the hands with the words. Here we go. Five, six, seven goes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Got it? Cool. Now let's break down the feet. Here we go. Starting off. I will instruct you. You're going to start with your left leg first. You're going to step out. Boom. To your left. Got it? Bring it back together. Two so goes. I will instruct you. Then you're going to step out again with your right foot. Got it? Again, five, six, seven goes. I will instruct you. Good. You're going to put your hands together or your feet together and teach you in the way you should go. Easy. Feet together that whole time. Front up. One more time. It's hard. Five, six, seven, go. Here we go. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Now, cool part, we're going to crisscross, crisscross. Got it? Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, goes. Criss, out. 
Good, again, five, six, seven, and guide you with my eye. That's it, here you go. One more time, that part. Five, six, seven goes, and guide you with my eye. That's it, from the top of the legs, we're gonna put it together, then we're gonna call it DJ Mr. Beatbox to give us that cool beat. Here we go, five, six, just the legs. Goes, I will instruct you, teach you in the way you should go. Got it? Crisscross, I will guide you with my eye. Yeah, all right. Now that we learned the parts, let's put everything together and then call it DJ Mr. Beatbox and we'll get that cool beat. Here we go, everything together. Five, six, seven, goes. I will instruct you, keep you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Got it? Cool. Now, you know what's next. Get ready, call him out with me. Oh, Mr. Beatbox, oh, Mr. Beatbox, drop me a beat. Yeah, all right, here we go. Psalms 32, eight goes like this. Here you go, five, six, everybody together, five, six, seven, goes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Again, five, six, five, six, seven, goes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Again, five, six, five, six, seven goes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. All right, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Beatbox. Ha. Nice. All right, don't forget to practice, fam. Here we go. Woo, see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Awaken Kids. Now, today we're talking about uh, we actually are starting a brand new series. Now this new series is gonna be, I don't know, maybe like four weeks, maybe eight. Who knows, could be 24 weeks. Who's, who knows, no one but God. <laughs> Kidding, I know. But we are doing a series called Back to the Basics, where we are talking about the basics of Christianity, where we're getting back, like not necessarily away from all the super spiritual stuff or whatever, but we're actually just diving deeper into the basic principles of what it looks like and what it means to be a Christian. So, number one on the list, today we are talking about worship. I know what you're thinking. Worship, you think of like, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> no, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about worship in a general sense. General sense? So, worship is not just singing to God. Although that is a form of worship, worship it could actually be better described or better defined as honoring God. Anything that honors God, that is what is considered worship. It's not just the third song in the set at the church service where you have two fast songs and then it goes a slow song and oh, that's worship. That's not what we're talking about. No, worship could literally be anything. The Bible says that um, everything that you do, do as worship unto the Lord. So how do we worship God? Simple, honoring him in everything that we do. And honor is something big that we talk about all the time. Honor is a reverence for God or holding in high esteem God, not treating as common God. So anything that we do, we do it as honor unto God. So that means like if we are working, we work to the best of our ability. Um, if we're in school, we're being teachable and we're being a good student to the best of our ability. If we're sitting in this classroom right here, we're listening to our teachers to the best of our abilities. <laughs> Hashtag honor God. So all of these things are honor and therefore they are worship. Worship can be done anytime, anywhere, or anything. And remember, worship is not about us. Worship is not about me. When I'm worshiping God, it's not about me. It's about God, okay? So it doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't necessarily matter what it sounds like. Let's say in the church service on that third song where things slow down and it's like, you know, shout out to God with the voice of triumph. Let's slow it down. All right, church, let's slow it down real quick. We're gonna go into a time of worship. So if you just lift your hands and you blah, blah, blah. You know, you talk about like that, that setting of worship. It doesn't matter if you're a little off key, if maybe you're like, you know, looking a certain way. 
but it doesn't matter what it looks like because God finds it to be special. It's like when a child gives their mom or dad something that they made, it's like, hey, bub, I wanted you to have this little piece of thing that I made. It's got noodles on it and in the noodles, I super glued them and on the, the, it all built, it made a picture of you and me and it says it to you that I love you forever. That may not be a very good macaroni picture, but mom is gonna love it because she came from you. And that's what worship is to God. It's like, he just loves it because, oh, my boy. <laughs> Yo, that's my son. He brought it to me and I just love it so much. <clears throat> Though, I will say this. When we're in a time of worship, you don't have anything to prove to anybody, much less to prove to God, okay? God knows your heart. He knows that you love him. So we don't need to put on a show, but we don't need to be timid and hold back our heart's expression for God in that. Because when... You know what? Let's just let's just say it like this. You should be comfortable with your different style of worship. For instance, <clears throat> my handy dandy list. When worshiping, there are different kinds of worshipers. There are worshipers like criers. You have the dancers. You got the tongue talkers. Those who speak in tongues and also sing in tongues while they're worshiping, like this guy. You You got the chest thumpers. Yours truly. <laughs> you have the observers. Next, you have the high hand raisers. You have the single hand hand raisers. You have the double handed high hand raisers. Then you have the, I really only know a few words of the chorus. First, I just Also, one of my personal favorites, the, look mom, I'm a plane. Worshippers. After that, of course, in every congregation, we have the silent. Then, if you're experienced in the art of worship styling, you have those martial artists called the judo choppers. After judo choppers, this kind of goes back to the, 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 the hand raising ones. You got the little TV, the big TV. You have the ribbon dancers. Then you have those that I like to call the hug me daddy people. My personal favorite and personal One not favorite thing. is the yeah. offbeat clappers. Those who can't clap on the right beat, Just like this guy. You got the jumpers. Last and certainly not least, we have the, I'm really passionate about my worship. I'm not actually angry. I just look like I'm constipated worshipers. But it's important to remember and important to know that it doesn't matter necessarily what you look like or what you sound like. We like to poke fun and we like to enjoy the different styles that people choose. I personally am a, I'm a chest thumper and an observer where I, I look around a lot and I've been known to hug me daddy every once in a while. But no matter what it looks like, what it sounds like, if you do it from a place of honor for God, God's gonna love it and he loves you regardless. So that being said, let's go talk to one of my friends and one of our favorites, Hurricane Evelyn, about more worship. Hurricane Evelyn! Hurricane? Is it not recording? It is recording. We're live. Red light. And we're live. Welcome back to another episode of... Evelyn and Christian. At, with, starring Christian and Evelyn. Yes. See how I reversed it there? <laughs> Classic. Okay, so... Uh, and for those of you that don't don't know, this is Hurricane Evelyn. Hurricane Evelyn, say hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so, um, for those that don't uh, know yet, Hurricane Evelyn, she is a worship leader. She um, sings in the microphones. She does all sorts of stuff that's super spiritual and super amazing in a bacon church. So, Hurricane Evelyn, yeah. I have a question. In your and just so everyone knows, she's not been prepped for this. Okay, this is straight off the cuff, right off, offhand. Hurricane Evelyn, how would you define worship? 
I would define worship as anything that you do that shows God that you love him. I like that. I like that. So in the last uh, video, we talked about different kinds of worshiping styles. Okay. Um, a lot of it very funny, but just kind of pointing out the fact that like everybody worships differently. And just because you don't worship this, this way doesn't make it right or wrong. It's just everybody's different. Their relationship with God's different. So what would you say to someone that feels like a little insecure about the way that they worship? Honestly, I would say, who cares? Yeah, join and the club. who is, who are the people around you to judge how it is you choose to worship? At the end of the day, you're not worshiping because of the people around you, you're worshiping because of God and you're worshiping to him. So really the only person whose opinion should matter is God's. That's fair. So I have two questions. Yes. First question, why is it that only God's opinion matters? Because it's to him and it's for him. So, Regardless of, let's say you and I are sitting in worship together. Okay. And are we imagining? Yeah, okay. we're imagining. We can imagine. So you and I are standing in worship together, mm -hmm. and I, I'm going to speak from my perspective. I am singing and I'm praying, and then I open my eyes and I, I'm like, oh wow, Christian, what do you, what, what are you doing? <laughs> That's what I do. That's what you do in yeah. worship? Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to close in my eyes. In the highlands and the valleys or something. Just like that. It's the wrong words to the song. Though. All right. Well. But then again, to my point, it's the wrong words. You could sing the wrong words to God if you wanted, and that's just you and him talking <laughs> to each other. This is how I eat burritos. Oh, my God. That one? Like that? <laughs> yeah. You should sing that too. So kind of tagging off of that, what if what if you're singing, sometimes when I'm singing in worship and I'm like, in the highlands and the something, it's hurting. And like, you're like, you'd be singing, cause in the highlands and the heart. <clears throat> oh, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> what would you say to someone that feels, uh, they just feel feel weird about messing up in worship? because it's like, okay, you're offering something to God, but you don't want to offer up something to God that's not great. What would you say to someone that thinks that way? What would you define as great? Great, like for instance, in the highlands and the <clears throat> that. I would say if that's what you feel is great to God, then it's going to be pleasing to God. I like that. So what makes God so worthy of worship or worthy of honor? The way that I like to look at it is looking at my before Christ days mm -hmm. and like what God brought me out of. So why do I worship? It's because like God brought me out of like a really, really dark period of yeah. my life and brought me back into the light and he created me and all this. Besides all of that, like the Bible says to worship. So why would I not listen to what the Bible is saying? Why would I not listen to what God's asking me to do? That's fair. So. Maybe the last question, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. So what about people that don't like, you know, I'm not a singer, Hurricane Evelyn, like, like, I don't like singing, I don't even really enjoy that. What would you say to someone that's like, singing's not my gift, I'm just, I'm not a worship leader, worship person. What would you say, how could they worship? I would say whatever your gift is, use it in a way that glorifies God. So it could be dancing. It could be dancing. What about people that like are really good with numbers? Cause I know in like, it sounds like an extreme, but in the Bible it says do everything as worship under God. So could literally anything be worship, mm -hmm. doing it to glorify and honor God? Yeah. I work in finance. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I work in finance for the church. Everything that I do is for the kingdom of God. It's adding value to the kingdom of God. So if your gifting is adding value to the kingdom of God, that is a form of worship. I like that. And I would even say that maybe even just doing whatever you do to the best of your abilities, mm -hmm. like making God look good in your work ethic, making God look good in the way that you present yourself. Like mm -hmm. maybe you're someone who is really good at making people laugh, like do that in a way that brings honor and glory to God. So doing everything to your best, to the best of your abilities mm -hmm. would be worship unto God. Yeah. Great. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have. So, one more question. Evelyn, if you could give one piece of advice to these people watching, what would you say to them? One would, piece, don't blow it. Okay. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance. So much pressure. Um, I would say, I already said this, but I wanna say it again. Oh, that's really weird advice. All right, well, thank no. you. <laughs> Whatever your gift is, whether if it's skateboarding, if it's writing, singing, dancing, math. font, math, science. What if they can make fart noises with their armpits? Could you play a worship song with fart noises in your in your armpits? Use whatever it is God has gifted you with <laughs> to glorify him. I like that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Hurricane Evelyn. Stay tuned next week for more on Back to the Basics. Just kidding, but seriously, stay tuned next week for Back to the Basics. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about the basics of Christianity, y'all. Bye.